Last September 20th, Twins great and Baseball Hall of Famer Rod Carew suffered a devastating heart attack. In the months since, Carew has teamed up with the Minnesota Twins and the American Heart Association to raise funds and build awareness of cardiovascular disease. Ahead of the May 14th Heart Walk at Target Field, the Heart of 29 campaign he founded has already raised $1 million in what promises to be an emotional moment tomorrow. Carew, who is still awaiting a possible heart transplant, will throw out the ceremonial first pitch at tomorrow's home opener. Joining me to talk about the Heart of 29 campaign is Laura Grant, uh, the Vice President of the Twin Cities Heart Walk. Thank you so much for coming Thank in. Thank you. All right, this is unbelievable because you have already raised $1 million and this walk is not till May 14th. Exactly. Tell us about that. Yes, yeah, so we have a goal this year of raising $3 million. As you've, as you've said, we've already raised a $1 million. We're expecting 25,000 people to come out on May 14th in support of the American Heart Association, the loved ones in their lives, and now in support of Rod Carew as well. All right. Rod Carew is an example, and certainly former Minneapolis Mayor R.T. Ryback is an example. Mm -hmm. These are, are men who are certainly past 50, even 60, but were in great shape. What are some of the warning signs? What should people be aware of? Absolutely. Well, first and foremost, people should be checking with their doctors on a regular basis to understand their health, their specific heart health needs. But some of the warning signs that the American Heart Association recognizes are shortness of breath, dizziness, chest discomfort, nausea or cold sweats. And so certainly if you're experiencing any of those, to call 911 and seek medical attention. All right. Now we have a link on our website so that you can register, people can register for this heart walk. You also are selling on this, uh, uh, on the website that we have a link to, uh, WCCO.com, this really cool t-shirt here. Yes. And it's just absolutely great. It's the Heart of 29, signed by Rod Carew, obviously, uh, number 29. We also have a great picture at spring training with Rod Carew, also former twins, uh, twin Tory Hunter, as well as uh, LaTroy Hawkins and coach Eddie Guardardo in the, that great T-shirt. So if you fans want a T-shirt mm -hmm. like that, that's a great one to get. And then also at tomorrow, 30,000 fans at the home opener, folks. We'll get to see Rod Carew throw out the first pitch, and they will also get this hoodie, which is super nice. It's a really, really nice hoodie. Uh, what kinds of what kinds of publicity or what kinds of uh, enthusiasm has Rod Carew's mm -hmm. participation uh, engendered here? Well, it's been outstanding. I mean, Rod just suffered his heart incident this past September, and right away, he, he and his wife Rhonda have wanted to do something powerful with what is happening in their lives. And so they've contacted the American Heart Association and in partnership, partnership with the Minnesota Twins, really wanted to raise awareness around heart attack and heart failure, encourage his loving fans to check with their doctors, to follow their doctor's instructions and to support the work of the American Heart Association. And so the twins have gotten behind this in such a big way. There are opportunities for fans to get engaged by purchasing tickets in the crew corner sections of upcoming games uh, to participate on Rod's Heart Walk team. Rod will be at Heart Walk on May 14th, and fan can, fans can join his team and make a donation in his honor. Right, so actually on, on that website, you can actually join his team or yes. you can form your own team. Absolutely. And, and what kind of, do you think you've gotten more of a response this year because of his participation? Oh, certainly. I mean, we have heard from so many Minnesotans, but people really all across the country who have followed Rod's career for years and years and years, who love him and who are just cheering him on in his health and learning about their own health because he has asked them to do so and to ask, ask him, them to get engaged in their health. And they have come forward. We've been hearing on social media and from our office, people really excited about the t-shirts, excited to make donations in his honor and excited to learn about their health because they've seen what has happened with Rod. Well, Lisa Grant, thank you so much and good luck with the heart walk. We'll obviously be covering it on May 14th. Wonderful. We appreciate your coming in this thank morning. Thank you so much. And